Josie from the Southern Indiana Rehab Hospital. Josie in training to become a therapy dog. And then today, welcome to Oliver, who's right next to me and smells pizza on my breath. He smells from a the pepperoni. <laughs> yeah. Me too, a therapy dog coming to the rescue of everyone he comes in contact with. And oh. there's, a book. there's a book. Oliver overcomes obstacles. A resilient hero. Today we have two authors behind the book, Elaine Weisberg and Elizabeth Fuller's. Welcome both of you. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you all for coming. We Elaine, appreciate welcome it. Back here. Hello, Oliver. I'm sorry about the pizza breath. <laughs> well, tell us it's his wife on TV. about Oliver. Awesome. Who wants to do this? And how did you? How did Oliver come into your life? Um, Oliver came into my life because he was training to be a service dog for Paws with Purpose, and I was his weekend trainer. And I picked him up every week at the women's prison and worked with him on the weekends and saw that he really didn't like the work that he was supposed to be doing to become a service dog. Huh. Oh, and so he eventually became a therapy dog, and then Beth can tell the rest of the story yeah, from so there. And I was lucky enough that Oliver would come into my classroom and read with my students. Because you're a teacher. Yes, and he would come in and read with my students in the classroom, and Elaine would tell his story to the students because he's been through some obstacles and some failures, and I would use Oliver all the time as an example. You know, he's had several obstacles in his life, but he overcame them, and now here he is helping people. And so he was an inspiration to my students. Yeah, and then you wrote, head up you all together mm -hmm. wrote this book. So the life lessons of Oliver. If you had to name them or what? Uh, well, really just, you might not always know what your purpose is initially. Uh, you might think that you were supposed to be doing something else. Uh, but well, Oliver kind of knew. And we just had to learn from him so he could follow his dream and just kind of hang out, be petted, make people be happy. And Beth, tell us about Oliver's work now. Well, he is continuing to do therapy work. He goes to several different schools. Um, he started coming to Carter Traditional Elementary, where I'm working now, and he reads with um, all of our kindergarten students and just continues to go out and help people. And he just has this way of making you feel loved and happy. And he is motivational to students. Students work hard because they want to be a better reader for Oliver. And he just has this way of making you feel so, so loved sweet. and so special. And he has some health issues, but he's okay, right? He's, he's got some problems with his hips, but he's, okay. he's doing much better with oh, his right. other issues. And you're going to have him if people want to meet him, right? Yes. This coming weekend yeah. at Carmichael's, we want to let people know. So thank you all so much. Appreciate it. Keep up the good work, little buddy. You're doing great. You're making a lot of people. Yeah, happy. he'll be there, you know. too. Uh, I have a paw stamp that he'll be able oh, to sign. Oh, so he's going to be signing book. And we book. have a bookmark as well. Wonderful. <laughs> if you would like to meet Oliver, you can tomorrow. All right. It's at 11 o'clock at Carmichael's Bookstore. That's the one on Frankfurt Avenue, 2720 Frankfurt. All proceeds from the book, just so you know, going to Pause With Purpose, their website, Pause With Purpose. Dot org. Now we've had the dogs. Equal time for Laura Rogers and Kitty Cat. Of course. <laughs> oh. We know we have to do that.